Yo guys, how you all doing? Tommy Roni123 here, guys. I am here with a special video, as you can see, looking a bit suave. And I'm looking suave because EA is screwing us over, guys. EA is absolutely screwing us over. Welcome to another episode of EA. Why do you have to screw my day? Guys, today we're talking about Foot Champions rewards. <sighs> what can I say? I mean, they've changed them, guys. They've changed them for the new season that's upcoming. Um, it's going to be different now and as you can see tons and tons of new ranks guys so we're here to talk about the rewards we're here to talk about the positives the negatives about it you know going forwards how is it going to be looking guys and is there some way out of this you know is there something positive to take out of this guys make sure to like and subscribe obviously as always guys it helps the channel to grow it helps me to grow obviously you guys can appreciate these videos do take time to make i really appreciate and love all of you guys and i'm always here to help you so make sure to as always show your support back let's get straight into this one guys as you can see tons and tons of new ranks we're starting with rank x one player pick, one remix player pack. I mean, we're not really going to be talking to these as about these as much, guys. This is one win out of 20, obviously. Um, as you can see, 12 points, so that's obviously going to be three wins. Um, you're going to be getting a cheeky little jumbo premium gold pack twice. Prime gold players, 5k, one player pick, untradeable. 24, guys, that's six wins. Six wins, you're going to be getting that player pick, player pick, the second time they should have just put us two player picks mega pack prime gold player pack jumbo premium gold pack twice and 750 qualification points and 10k now here's where the ranks really start guys 34 points yeah we're talking rare players pack 100k pack i think this is nine wins guys if i'm correct if you get nine wins you secure this uh, yes, it's nine wins you secure it, guys. Or you get eight wins and then, yeah, give away to get, yeah, that basically around that, guys. But basically, for nine guaranteed wins, you get this. Now, this is where I feel like a lot of people will be stopping. So, you know, all of you casual players, obviously. Um, you know, I call myself a casual player. I can put myself in a bracket at this point. You know, I don't play professionally anymore. I might next year, not this year. Guys, nine wins secures you great packs, less stress. Nine wins, that's less than half of what it is to play, right? And yeah, qualification points, you'll probably need to build some up for in, during the week because you'll need another 750, I think, to go for the qualifications again. But the truth is you get good, good packs. You get 15k and all of that just for nine wins. So this works perfectly fine for a lot of people. Now, I don't know because I've seen a lot of people react very badly to this and saying for casual players, this does not work at all. The nine win situation. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. Um, I don't think it's too bad necessarily. Now, if we move up, obviously, to like 11 wins and one loss, you know, we have the rare player pack jumbo and the premium team of the week pack. And that is where it goes up a bit more. Now, this does require extra wins, and I get that this is probably where the casual players are going to start dropping off and be like, you know what, I'm not bothered for this. And guess what, guys, I don't blame you. I wouldn't be bothered for it if I had to, like, really, really care. Um, but, you know, 12, 13 wins, you know, we're talking free player picks, premium team of the week pack, rare players pack, ultimate pack, ch uh, champions qualification points, obviously, and 30k coins. It's just moving up slightly here, guys. And I think this, from this point, the 60-point mark, is where all the pros and everyone else is going to be looking at it, licking the lips, thinking, right, this is what I like to see. You know, 60 points, we're moving up to a cheeky free-player pick. Uh, free-player picks. One 100k pack, one 125k pack, one team of the week pack. It's getting big, guys. 50k coins. 67 points. And I think this is where it becomes new, right? We never had 67 points in the old system. Two rare player packs, one ultimate pack, what two premium team of the week packs, 75k coins, 72 guys. This is um 18 wins, correct if I'm correct. 18 wins, guys, two ultimate packs, two premium team of the week packs, 100 k Um and I think EA made a mistake because these 100 k packs here, guys, if I'm correct over here, I think. No, where did the 100k pack start? I think it started here. Uh, not 100k pack. The premium team of the week pack here, guys, is untradeable, if I'm correct. EA just hasn't put that correctly, which is obviously typical from EA. But 19 wins, guys. Three player picks. 50k pack. Two ultimate packs. Three tradable premium team of the week packs. 100k coins. 
Now, this gives something to grind to, you know, for other players. You know, I usually, guys, I don't know about you, yeah? But this whole 16-point system, system annoyed me a bit. I am someone that is a perfectionist, and I love winning. But I hate, like, not being able to be motivated to pass that 16-win mark. So what happens is, I see it as, if I'm, let's say, playing my 8th match, I'm 8-0, and, and I'm losing the game. I'm suddenly thinking, right, guys, I don't, I don't really need to win here, so I'm not going to bother coming back as much, right? And I know this from myself, because last week, for example... I gave away games that where I was like, right, I'm not really bothered to fight this toxic guy. I'm just going to let him win this one. I'll still get my 16 wins. And I got to a point where I couldn't give away any more wins. I needed a 9-match win streak and I just won all 9 matches and walked through it because that's when I actually started bothering. Now, if I had th these awards, I mean, these rewards to go for, would I have gone for it more? Probably, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It gives you a bit more of a grind, this part right here, rank 3, rank 2, rank 1. Um... It gives you a lot more. Now, it rewards you for 9 wins pretty nicely, guys. If we go back to the 9 win uh, situation, I think it's going to be this one. It gives you pretty good. And I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I know a lot of people will be stopping here. You know, people are fearing that this means that there will be more sweat going on in the weekend league. It means that people will not be as... Um, nice. They won't be giving out free wins because everyone will be fighting for the top ranks. Not many people will be motivated to go for the top ranks because they're not motivated already as it is. A lot of people stop at the earlier rank. And I don't think that's necessarily going to change uh, as a matter of fact. And, you know, I, I don't know. I want you guys to comment and let me know, man. What rank do you guys usually get? What rank are you going to be going for right now after this whole change? I don't think it's necessarily the worst thing EA has created. It gives a lot of more rewards for the top top players especially if they're playing on playstation they're going to be absolutely loving this because it gives them mo motivation it gives them something to go for which i think is what they wanted essentially the biggest problem people have with this is ea is punishing people giving free wins and ea doesn't want you to have fun now i understand that the grind is going to be a lot tougher which means that people are going to be more toxic which means a lot of people are going to be going on five back and playing like rats and in a way, EA is promoting that again by doing this. It's a change that's kind of promoting that kind of, I don't know, just that kind of behavior. Because they want you to be grinding to a ridiculous level. It's just what works in EA's plans. And I get people are really mostly annoyed about that. That's the biggest problem here for uh, a lot of people. It's going to be the idea of now I'm going to be fighting through people. I'm not going to have it um, the same way I used to. But at the same time, most of the people that do qualify for foot champs are already absolutely insane players. As you can see, qualifications have not changed um, at all. It's going to be the exact same rewards, if I'm correct. Yeah, this has not changed. So look, this is exactly the same, right? There's no changes here. Rank 2 is still rank 2. Gets you qualified. Uh, rank 1 is just for extra, but I don't know who actually goes for rank 1 nowadays in playoffs. Since you can actually end playoffs early anyway. I don't know, guys. You let me know what you think. You let me know which rank you'll be going for. I personally will be going for the top ranks. I'll be making some videos, some highlight videos, guys. We'll be going for the top ranks. I think it's just going to be a change that we'll have to get adjusted to. Foot Champions is about to become more of a grind than it used to be. A few days ago, a week ago. Um, but look, guys, we're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep working. You know, keep making those videos. I keep bringing out tutorials, guys. Whatever you need, let me know down below. And, guys, let me know what you'll be going for in terms of rewards. Like I said, a lot of you will be probably stopping at 9 or the 9 or the 11 mark what well, this is 12 wins guys by 11 wins one loss you get it as well um and a lot of you will be stopping around here i feel because look the rewards are already good enough yeah i don't think a lot of people need to go f even for this extra one here it's just a premium team of the week pack which is trash anyway guys let's be honest tell me one time you got someone good from a premium team of the week pack so that's going to be trash already and it's untradeable if i'm correct so that's just not worth it and obviously then you get this this is probably the next mark which actually does matter because you get an extra pick and you get the ultimate pack but for this you need 51 51 is 13 wins or 12 wins and three losses once again 11 wins i don't think it would cut it would it yeah, it would cut it because 9 w losses would give you the points. So yeah, I guess 11 wins and then give away the rest, you get this. But people will not be giving away those wins easily. So getting those 11 wins is going to be tougher than ever. Guys, you let me know. I'm a bit mixed on this. I personally like it because I love grinding. But that's just me, guys. I love grinding and I love putting myself to a situation where I feel like collapsing and uh, never breathing again because EA has put me through another weekend of Foot Champs Rage. But that's just me.
everyone's different guys listen guys i love you all make sure to like and subscribe share with your friends share it down in the comments below you know discuss discuss between yourselves guys we're here we're a community what else do you want me to discuss as well guys you let me know i'll always bring it out i'm here to help you guys i'm here to bring out the content you want to see i'm an all-round guy man i'm an all-round guy man and make sure to check out my instagram and tiktok so you don't miss out on anything there until next time guys peace